uh, I just want to ask you whether you can hear any noise or just uh, or you can hear my voice clear or you uh, do you uh, uh, hear any 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 noise no no eh? okay because if uh, if my voice is unclear, you tell me, eh? Because maybe um, uh, got some interference, lah. Eh? Never mind, never mind. Okay. Okay, class. Good morning, Wan Alpha. Uh, before we start the class for today, um, I just give you the exercise. Yeah, yesterday, I need you to finish uh, all chapter seven, page seventy sixty-eight. Right, page sixty-eight to page seventy seventy-two. Okay. Page 68, not 68, 67, yeah? Page 67 to 72, all right, your workbook. So we already finished chapter chapter 7. Okay, we already finished chapter 7. Uh, do you have any question? Especially on page uh, 6, sorry, especially on page uh, 69. Page 69, page 60, uh, 70. 72 and until 72. Do you have any problem, class? Do you want uh, to discuss the answer? Yes. You want to discuss the answer, Jing Ying? All right, good. So, um, do, you, uh, do you want to discuss all the, the question or just specific one? I mean, uh, you can uh, uh, ask me which question that we need to, um, we need to discuss. Or what? I think we discussed all the questions, uh, all the questions, starting from page uh, page 69, yeah? Page 69. Okay, can you see my presentation? Yes. Yes, huh? All right, this is the section A, all right? This is section A, page 69, chapter 7, right? Okay. <clears throat> so we try to do it one by one. Okay, like usual, uh, section A consists of objective question, yeah? multiple choice question, meaning that you need to choose the correct answer for the, uh, for the question, all right? We go one by one, yeah. Section A, question number one. Diagram one show the apparatus set up to study the air composition. To study the air composition, yeah. Next one. Okay. Which of the following statements are correct? Okay. You need to choose the correct answer only. Eh? Uh, this one has multiple uh, correct answer. But uh, in this type of question, you need to choose uh, two correct questions. Okay. So you need to um, look at all possible answer. Right. So the question over here asks you to choose the correct statement just to the correct statement how many correct statement you need to choose class how many 
Okay, yes, very good. Correct. Eh? You need to choose two correct statements. Okay, uh, you we go to the uh, number one, possible answer number one. Carbon dioxide used in the burning of the candle. True or false? False. Okay, what is the, uh, what is the uh, correct answer actually? What is the gas used in the burning? Oxygen. oxygen yes very good the gas need for the burning is oxygen so number one is you can uh, what we call um uh, uh use your pencil just across uh, it eh? meaning that the option number one is not correct so you go back to the uh, uh, multiple choice and then you also strike through or you also cross the answer that is not correct that is a and d you know can huh? you understand this right so we just uh, uh eliminate uh, uh answer a and answer d okay so how about option number three so you no need to read the option number three lah ya, because it's already true. Now we need to you you need to look at the uh, uh, option number four and option number number two. So we look at option number two. The water level will raise, rise up to one fifth of the gas jar. True or false? Number two. True, eh? okay, never mind. Or you you said it true, right? Number two is true. Okay, how about number four? Twenty percent of air content is carbon dioxide. True or false? False. False. Eh? Actually, how many carbon dioxide in the air? What is the zero, percentage? Zero. Zero. Point zero three. Yes, zero point zero three percent. So number four is wrong, and then number two is. Correct. So the the answer is what's the answer? Two n, two n three. So the answer is C. Yeah, two n, two n three. Okay, right. Question number two. Right. Question number two. Okay, which of the following is daily use of inert gases? Daily use of inert gases. Okay, daily use. Eh? Um, so, we look at the possible answer, make advertising lights. True or false? True. True, eh? Make fire extinguisher. True or false? Fire extinguisher. True oh. or false? False, right. Eh? Uh, option number B is not correct because usually in fire extinguisher which gas it use what are the gas used in fire extinguisher carbon dioxide yes correct carbon yes yes correct carbon dioxide so okay uh to make carbonated water uh, make carbonated water what gas it used to make carbonated water carbon dioxide still same carbon dioxide very good huh and then act as cooling agent a cooling agent what type of gas nitrogen 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 yes so the answer for number two question is a yeah, to make advertising light okay but uh, there is some place yeah uh, some of the fire extinguisher they use inert gas actually okay but most of the cases most of most of the a gas it used to to extinguish the fire we use carbon dioxide not inert gas eh? inert gas usually to make neon you know what is neon okay i will show you the picture here neon light okay you, if you search a neon light okay this is an example of neon light eh? this is an example of neon light and then inside the uh inside the tube here consists of inert gas okay consists of inert gas huh? uh, different type of inert gas will give out different color 
uh, for example the green color here may be used different type of inert gas okay what are the type of inert gas class can you uh, tell me what type of inert gas you already learned inert gas okay inert gas inert inert gas eh? uh, for example inert gas okay the example of inert gas is helium argon what else i also forgot neon. Uh, yes neon yes neon gas um they done yes correct 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 okay argon neon and wait ah. <laughs> uh, no. yes the type of inert gas <laughs> okay Ar helium neon argon okay helium neon argon okay right so this is inert gas the usage of inert gas eh? they fill out the tube with the inert gas and then it will give uh, what we call a specific light okay to the to the light okay this is what we call by inert gas class eh? okay good next one okay answer number two is a eh? next one answer uh, question number three all right Diagram 2 show Ali wearing a type of device when he goes out of the house. Okay, can you understand the question? Eh? Can you understand the picture? Ali wears something in uh, in his face, right? Okay, question. Why Ali is wearing the device? Why? Face. Face. A, B, C, O, D? A. Okay, the answer is of course A because the haze. Uh, what is the what is haze uh, haze is the what we call uh, the air is dirty lah, yeah? because there is a uh, uh, more uh, more concentration of smoke dust eh? that's why we need to wear uh, wear the face mask here yeah? okay my question to you you know right now eh? right now is a pandemic um, time you can see many people out there wearing face masks do you Thing, the face mask we wear outside can get us uh, free from viruses. Can or cannot? Hmm? No. No, right. Okay, yes. The the face mask, yeah, the face mask we wear daily, we can see people outside wearing the mask, right? It it cannot guarantee us to stop the virus from um uh, to stop us to get the virus no but we wear mask because the virus is the virus is in the droplet of water and then the droplet of water can or cannot uh, can the face mask block the droplets of water can or cannot you think can yes huh? virus spread in the droplets of water okay and then we wear face mask because the droplet of water uh, the face mask can block the droplets of water but if the only the virus the virus can go through the face mask huh? uh, that's why we need to wear face mask because uh, inside the maybe uh, inside the droplet we have the virus we can hold uh, we can stop the virus because the virus is inside the droplet of water and then the face mask can block the droplet of water huh? uh, that's why we need to wear a uh, face mask and then the latest recommendation they they say uh, you need to um wear uh two ply not two ply lah two layer of face mask huh? you can see now right uh, maybe uh, the higher the the layer of mask you wear uh, the more protection you have okay but if only virus eh, virus only can easily penetrate the face mask okay uh, because the virus is in the droplet of water face mask can uh, can block the droplet of water so that we do not get the the virus okay but uh, his situation because the smoke particle eh, the smoke particle dust particle is bigger okay it's bigger uh, than the what we call than the particle of face mask it can be blocked huh? 
uh, it can block the haze particle, smoke particle, dust particle. Okay, can you understand this? Yeah. Huh? Although, uh, uh, maybe the the effective the effectiveness. <coughs> Sorry, maybe the effectiveness of wearing face mask yeah, for you not get the virus is where is low, but you need to wear it huh, because the virus is in the droplet of water. Okay, if I can draw like here, huh, if I can draw here, huh, okay, if I can draw like this, okay, this is the layer lah. For example, huh, this is the layer of the mask. Okay, this is the layer of the face mask right and then this is the droplet of water droplet of water is actually bigger than the face mask hole eh? and then uh, the virus uh, the virus maybe like here the tiny red one can you see eh? the red one is the virus the virus can go through eh? uh, the virus can go to go through the face mask but uh, this is the face mask layer eh? but because of the virus Okay, because of the virus, usually inside the droplet of water. This is droplet of water. Okay, droplet of water can go through the mask or cannot? Can go through or cannot? Ah, droplet of water. Inside here is the virus. This is virus. Ah. Droplet, uh, droplet of water can go through the face mask or cannot? Cannot. Yes, the droplet of water cannot go to the face mask. It will stuck. Uh, the droplet of water will stuck here. Will stuck here with the virus. Okay, but the virus itself is very small. It can go through, but this is unlikely the issue. This is unlikely the problem okay usually the virus uh, usually the virus uh is inside droplet of water that's why when you wear face mask uh, the droplet of water will stuck at the surface here uh, will stuck at the surface of the face mask and then the virus is inside the droplet of water so the virus cannot enter the face mask and uh maybe we will uh be very safe lah. we will be the effectiveness for we not to get the virus is high. Can you understand? But remember, yeah, the virus itself can go through the mask. Yes, the virus itself can go through the mask. But not if you use face mask, no problem. Because the virus is in the droplet of water. Droplet of water is very, very small also. But it cannot go through the, it cannot penetrate the face mask. Right? Okay. Just a small info only. Eh? That's why we need to wear the mask uh, in the pandemic era, lah, eh? in the COVID era, COVID time like this. Okay, number four. Here we go straight to number four. Diagram three show the condition that caused the fire. Uh, this one is very easy. Lah, eh? So what are the uh, question? What are the following is correct? You know the condition of fire is what? The condition of fire is consists of number one, Class number yeah. one, oxygen number two, fuel. Okay, oxygen number two, fuel, and then number three is heat. Heat. Okay, uh, but the question is yeah, sometimes the question doesn't directly ask you what are P, Q, and R. They will ask you what type of what we call um, um, substance, for example, fuel, for example, heat. And then, example, what 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 are the examples? So we go directly to the uh, an, uh, answer here. Okay. What is P? You think? What is uh, okay? What is the answer for number four? Number four. The answer is D. D. Yeah. The uh, very direct question. No problem. Yeah. Heat, oxygen, and fuel. Okay, this is the answer for number number four. Okay. All right, next one. Okay, section B, uh, subjective question. 
So you need to, uh, like I said many times, you need to read the question and then before you uh, answer, uh, before you answer, you need to read the question truly. Right. Okay. The question is, combustion is the reaction that occur when the substance is heat with the presence of oxygen and release heat energy and light energy. Combustion will occur if the combustion conditions are fulfilled. Okay. Complete the circle map below to show the condition for combustion. Ah, very easy this one. Okay. Uh, you just complete the uh, complete the circle map here. Of course, uh, the, if you want to complete the circle map, of course. Uh, the answer is what? Oxygen. Yes, oxygen lah. Eh? Oxygen and fuel. Okay, oxygen and and fuel. Okay, that's uh, the answer. Okay, all right. Next one. Okay, question number 1B, uh, match the material or appropriate tool for extinguish the fire with the correct example of burning material. Uh, so we have here uh, two marks. Eh? We have two marks of question, uh, of uh, question here will give you two marks. So you need to draw two lines, yeah? You need to draw two lines only, not to draw three lines, yeah? Okay. Uh, material or appropriate tool for extinguishing fire. We have water, sand, and any type of fire extinguisher, and then we have dry powder. Okay, water, sand, and any type. Uh, usually, we use water to extinguish or to put off fire made from what? From solid, right? What is the answer? If you use, we can use water to to put off the fire of what? Which one? Paper, okay. plastic, rubber, cloth. Okay, very good. Wood, paper, plastic, rubber, and cloth. Okay, you just remember, yeah. If you use water, water can only uh, extinguish um, fire that come from solid. Okay, wood, paper, plastic, rubber, and cloth. Oil is not suitable for water. Water cannot. Uh, we cannot put a fire from oil with water, and then also we cannot also put off fire from methane so the answer for b1 is this one right okay how about dry powder dry powder which one oil, alcohol petrol oil alcohol um. petrol crossing grease right okay uh, either one either one okay. methane how about uh, this one uh, methane ethane and propane this one also can because according to your textbook, uh, dry powder can uh, dry powder can put off fire, uh, can put off fire from many sources, right? Solid it can, gas it can, the fire from liquid also it can be extinguished by dry powder. Okay, so you can either choose this one, number one or number two. But please, uh, only two marks, so you need to use two two line here yeah. only only choose only match uh, two answer only okay you understand this yes okay huh? all right okay next one okay section c this is what the diagram is uh show the natural carbon carbon what carbon and oxygen cycle okay so we have here process x and uh, process y over here okay process x and process y that's why i need uh, last time i asked you you must understand what are the process that produce oxygen and use oxygen and then also what are the process that use carbon dioxide and release oxygen now you still remember this, eh? you must remember this. Okay, never mind. You just go straight to the question. 2A1, just name the process X and process Y. Okay, process X first. Where the process X? Okay, this one. Process X, meaning that from fuel, it will become carbon dioxide. You have fuel here. And then 
become carbon dioxide, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, what are the process X here? Combustion. Com. Okay, good. Combustion. Okay, because when you burn something, all right, it will turn into carbon dioxide. The process is combustion. Okay, how about Y? This is process Y. From green plant, and then it will become oxygen. Okay, green plant will become oxygen. Green plant will become oxygen. Of course, it is only one process that create oxygen. Only one process that produce oxygen. What are the what are the process? Tell us. Photosynthesis. Very good. Photosynthesis. Okay. Very easy this one, eh? Okay. Uh, all right. So next question. Okay. Next question number two. Which process? Which process will be most affected if tree are cut down excessively? Most affected. What are the process when the tree are cut down excessively? Very easy. This one. Photosynthesis. Yes, of course, photosynthesis. Yeah, photo. Photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis, because the only process that produce oxygen is photosynthesis. Okay, the only process yeah, class yeah, uh, only the green plant, only the plant can use carbon dioxide, and then it will produce carbon, uh, and then it will produce oxygen, and then this oxygen is used by us. Right, for respiration, for combustion, for what else? Um, decay, comp decomposition, this all use, uh, use oxygen. But oxygen only can be produced by photosynthesis by the green plant only. Uh, that's why the most affected, uh, if, the tree down, if the tree are cut down excessively, meaning that uh, more tree are cut down, so the process of photosynthesis is become decreased and then also at the same time the process of uh, uh, producing oxygen also become decreased. Yeah? Right. To B. What are the impact on the environment if the carbon dioxide content increase? Okay. See here uh, what uh, the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere increase. Uh, what are the effects you think? What happened when the carbon dioxide content of atmosphere increase? Any any answer? Uh, greenhouse effect. Okay, greenhouse effect. Okay, greenhouse effect. This is our answer. Because right now, yeah, right now, what is the percentage of carbon dioxide inside our uh, composition of air? Zero point. What are the composition of uh, carbon dioxide? It's about 0 0.03. 0. 0. 0. Right. Okay. Carbon dioxide inside our air is 0.03%. But there is a problem. When the percentage of carbon dioxide increase, one of the uh, effects is what we call greenhouse effects. Okay. Before, what is greenhouse effect? Okay. I will I'll try to explain to you right now. Greenhouse effect. Okay, do you know what is greenhouse? Greenhouse, I will try to see the greenhouse. Okay, this is example of greenhouse, yeah? Um, okay, never mind. Okay, this is greenhouse. This is actually the 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 what we call the uh, the picture of greenhouse. Okay, greenhouse is usually, if you can see here, greenhouse is usually a structure that cover in glass. Uh, this is greenhouse. Uh, the structure here are cover in cover in what? Cover in glass, transparent glass, transparent glass okay and then when you close uh it will 
because of the inside uh, maybe the the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is more when the carbon dioxide is uh, is uh, what we call increase and then it will trap the what it will trap the what outside we have sunlight right and then when the sunlight come what happened inside what happened inside the greenhouse the temperature is increasing or decreasing increase yes the temperature inside the temperature inside will increase okay but uh if there is more carbon dioxide inside the greenhouse so it will trap more heat the temperature is getting hotter all right so this is what we call by greenhouse effects okay uh greenhouse effects function is to trap the heat huh? greenhouse uh, greenhouse function is to trap the the heat trap the heat from where the heat from heat from where sun yes the heat from the sun okay when the sun that's why the structure is made from glass or from plastic okay the heat can enter the the greenhouse and then it will trap the heat inside it will trap the heat inside but the problem is when the carbon dioxide is increased okay when the carbon dioxide is increased the problem is the temperature is also become increased uh, that's why we need to control the amount of carbon dioxide so that the the heat inside the greenhouse will not um, increase as well okay i hope you can understand this This is what we call by greenhouse, greenhouse effects. Yeah? Okay. Okay, never mind. Next one, C. What will happen to the carbon oxygen cycle if all the plants are destroyed? If, if, eh, if all the plants are destroyed. Explain. Okay, what happened to the content? See the what? What increase? What content? The air will what? Okay, yeah, just write the, uh, the answer, yeah? The carbon dioxide content will, will increase. Okay, the carbon dioxide content will will increase still there class yeah okay uh, so. what happened eh? okay never mind eh? the carbon dioxide content will increase okay number two there will be no what oxygen there will be no oxygen are you sure uh wait huh? uh sorry sorry the carbon dioxide content will increase okay number two there will be no herbivore animal will and the of the animal carcass will also the content of air okay um when there is no tree okay uh when the plant are destroyed what are the process uh it cannot uh it cannot happen if the plant destroy what are the process okay photosynthesis okay very good very good so there is so there will be no what photo scene thesis yeah there will be no photosynthesis right herbivorous animal will what happen to the animal die Herbivor okay good the answer is die and the of the animal carcass what is carcass class carcasses carcass mean what dead animal or living animal animal carcass mean animal that is already die eh? 
Yeah, die animal. Die animal is carcass. Carcasses. Carcasses. Okay. Herbivorous animal will die and the... Uh, what happened when the animal die? What happened to the body of the animal when the animal die? It will become... Start from D. D? Decomposition. Yes, decomposition. Yes, good. Decomposition. Decomposition. Okay. Of the animal carcass will also increase the carbon dioxide content of the air. So these are the, the answer. Huh? J class? Yes. Okay, good. Right, now it's 9.27. Question uh, D. Uh, for the question, uh, the answer for question D, I will upload it on our uh, Telegram group. Okay, class? Do you understand? Any yeah. question? No. No, no question, eh? Okay, good. All right. So, I will stop here. So, we'll be meeting again on Thursday at 8.45 in the morning. Okay? Can, ah? Uh, class, ah? Uh? Okay, I will upload the, the rest of the answer in our Telegram group. So, I will stop here. Thank you for your focus. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, you can leave the class now. We will all see you again on Thursday. See you again. Bye-bye and thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.